I have heard. I was away for a while. For those of you who don't know, I'm late to the party on the uh, 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 on the Hassan versus uh, versus Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate um, apparently is a guy who has not seen the Star Wars movies because he's such a Chad rich alpha male that he doesn't um, watch movies and it, and he's mad. Um, or wait, he's mad that people think it's weird that he hasn't seen Star Wars movies. I don't know. He's some red pill guy, isn't he? Andrew Tate's some weird fucking cringe lord who talks about how stupid women are all the time, even though he has like, uh, he like struggles to get through a conversation. So we're going to find out real quick what this whole Hassan versus Andrew Tate thing is all about. I have seen no reactions to this except for the first five minutes of one streamer before I had to go to the store. So I know the very beginning of this debate and I know nothing else. I have been completely out of the loop. So let's see how this goes, okay? We're gonna react to this fucking Andrew Tate shit. But first, hold on a minute. That you're uncomfortable looking at, right? You don't, get to, you don't get to say I hate my kids. Okay, so he joins in. So he joins in to another conversation. I do not know these streamers. These streamers appear to be acting like Tommy, Bucky, Clicks, and this is the guy, Cobra Tate. Oh, so this is the one, this is the video I brought up. Okay, yeah, this is the one hour and 13. Hell yeah, this has got both of them. Wait, did no other transes follow this? Wait, wait, were there other trans people? Wait, I didn't say that I was the only trans person. That was somebody else who said that. I don't know what this is. Let's find out. And that I'm weak because I present a Jesus, version that's of loud. manhood that has struggled just like you, that has conquered just like you, but is out, lives outside the idealized patriarchy that was sold to me. You don't get to gaslight me because you're uncomfortable. Cool. You, love man man. That I I, you love men. You love men. Cool. The point I'm making is you're saying that the world wouldn't have a war. Dude, you leader. are backed up against the wall. Wait, 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 wait. No, chill, 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 chill. Let, let, T, let, have let, let, right. let T have his final statement, then we're going to wrap this up and get someone else in. Right. Yo, right. I'm, I'm in here right now. I just got to fix my camera. One second. Right. Yeah, you're chilling. Just start to fix Oh, son, let's go, man. I appreciate you. I'm interested in seeing what the chat thinks. The reason you're totally wrong saying that the world would have no, less war if there was no female leaders is because if you actually ask anybody who's been in the corporate world for long enough, the companies that have the most arguments, the most difficult corporate structures to deal with, in fact, even if you ask most women, they say, I don't like having a woman boss. I'd rather work for a man. When you have a whole bunch of women in charge, it's nothing but a fucking bitch fest and it's a shit show. Every man, these, this, this shit just doesn't fly anymore, bro. Like this shit, maybe maybe you could have convinced like some people that aren't like mental children of this in like the 1950s, but does anybody buy this anymore? Every corporation in the fucking world has a million women in it now. Like, yeah, first off, everybody hates their fucking boss. And secondly, what the fuck are you talking about? single fucking person who's ever worked in corporate knows that. Every single person who's ever worked in the world knows that. That women actually, as beautiful as they are and they're good at lots of different things, they would perhaps not perhaps, they would prefer to work for a male boss because it's a stronger, more clear leadership structure. Having a bunch of women in charge of countries is not going to make a... This guy, I can see that this guy is a titan. A absolute intellectual titan. This guy is the most searched person on the internet right now above Kim Kardashian. Holy shit. Maybe I should put his name first. Uh, hold on. I'm going to put his name first and, and, uh, and fucking... Hassan second. Fucking peaceful world. And the fact you believe that shows your entire mental world is fucked. I'd like Dude. to actually put a poll in the chat see, and let's see who Dude, agrees with you, who agrees will, with me. Why will we uh, take a poll in the chat? Of course, of course, team tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, hyper idealized manhood. Like right. they need to cling to that. Okay, right, do you guys do you guys want me to do you guys want me to step in on this conversation Dude, or let's go. We're not gonna do no two versus one bullshit. I'm like, we're gonna wrap it up with Tommy. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait. 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 We can reverse course, everybody. We can reverse course. Look at this. Since Hassan moves over there, we can put the chat up here again. Order has been restored. Order has been restored. Let us go. Listen, go at it. No two versus one bullshit. Yeah, you mean like the Aiden Ross stream when? Anyway. Uh, no, XQC was getting it. fucking triple team. All right. I didn't, I didn't want to. Right, Hassan, Tommy, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just a messenger. Let's not hate, no, let's Tommy, not hate this the messenger. Thank, thank you for coming on. Um, yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for coming on. We, I hope you have a safe flight, and I hope you, you know, enjoyed your time here.
Dude, I did. I did. Andrew, take care, brother. Hassan, I just want to say props to you, boss. I appreciate you, man, putting the word out there. Thank you, guys. Good to talk, brother. Have, have a good day. Appreciate you coming on, Tommy. Have a good one, man. Cheers. Thank you. Wow. <clears throat> wow, that was uh, quite the conversation. How do you feel? Yeah, I, I did not pre-watch this. I have I don't know shit about this. The oh, I've literally seen at max like two minutes of the actual coverage. Oh hell oh, yeah! Guy, Tommy. I uh, sorry, are you asking me or the, yeah, 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 yeah. Andrew. On my way to uh, he's, I don't know him outside. personally. I have nothing against him personally. His, he lives in the, he's a new age thinker. He lives in the new think, the idea that the way the world runs and has always run is a bad thing. Thank you, Magos Friend. Deeply appreciate that. Thank you very much. Also, thank you very much to Magos Friend again. Thank you. References for his way of life, well, his way of thinking, because it's never been tested before. It's untested theory. I think that him for him to come along and say such blanket statements that if we changed all the world leaders to women, there wouldn't be war is, is inane and asinine. I think for him to say that a man who's physically strong can't be mentally strong is also stupid. But I also understand why he's saying the ideas he's saying, because he has a natural insecurity based on the fact that he's not a physical specimen of man. And the way he gets around it is to pretend that that's not important, which is fine. Lots of people do it, right? Stupid people saying being smart is not important. Poor people saying being rich is not important. It's a common defense mechanism that everybody does. And I completely understand. Wait, is Andrew Tate, like, temporarily putting on a fake British accent? Thank you very much again, Magos Rin. Deeply appreciate that. Is it, is it, is he doing, like, a slightly, like a, like a shitty... He's the top bloke. He's British-American. He sounds like an American who's faking. Thank you again, Magos Rin. Damn, Magos Grin, huge shout-out. Oh understand it however most people with a basic grasp of economics and the way societies work would look at society and say you know what a society with brave strong men who are full of honor and duty is actually a better society than men who walk around saying i have no duty to protect anybody or protect anything and i can just sit around and cry all day and damn just right out the gate with a sick ass argument many people would say that uh, a, a society with strong men is better than a society full of men that don't do anything ever. In just incredible. Right off the fucking bat. First off, first off, you know, let's do it. Can we do a quick drip review real quick of everybody on here? All right. I don't know any of these people besides Hassan and Tate. This guy, damn. I actually like his setup. His setup looks pretty fucking cool. I don't know what this board is. This board that's just like hanging out in the middle here. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Am I like misunderstanding what's going on here? I don't know what the board is. Uh, but drip review, he's looking fine. Simple, you know, black tank top, you know, showing off the guns a little bit. All right, I can deal with it. These two, uh, lighting questionable, lighting blown out. They got to equalize this lighting a little bit. But you know what? Looking a little sleepy, but he's got a Fortnite shirt. Fortnite shirt. Sick. Can't, can't fucking negatively review the Fortnite shirt. Andrew Tate is uh, very shiny. He is naked, apparently. Uh, and he is very shiny. Um, all I can say is Andrew Tate's head looks like uh, somebody like, li like tightened the mold when he was a baby for too long and it made his head like the wrong shape. So he has like kind of like an egg-shaped head instead of the normal like sort of circular shaped head that most people have. Um, you know, it's got this, this, this interesting egg-like shape. Also, no chin. Very interesting. Very interesting that Mr. Alpha Male over here is using this neck beard to hide the fact that he has no chin and no jawline. And I gotta say, put next to Hassan over here, Hassan's looking fucking Giga Chad. He's got his prayer beads around his neck. These, like, these, they look like, it looks like a rosary. He's got some kind of, a, I don't know what shirt this is, but it's a normal t-shirt. But look at that. Look at that fucking nice, clean-cut beard. You got the jawline. You got the nice, strong forehead. You know, I just got to say, I just got to say, Tate's losing on the drip review. Yeah, and also, everybody else is leaning, and he's got it fucking straight up and down. But, but you know, I mean, I think Hassan's long hair looked good. I think Hassan looks fine with long hair. You know? So I got to say, I don't know. I don't know. They're like, they're fucking, this guy has, this guy has no chin over here. It's looking bad. I gotta say. Wait, for real? Wait, before Hassan came on, Tate was creeping on the girl in the top right? Ugh. That's fucking, that's fucking shit.
You don't fucking creep on the host. That's fucking really weird. But I guess that's his whole thing, right? Being She's a minor? Oh, no way. Dude was fucking creeping on a minor. Wait a minute. Okay, hold on a second. Am I misremembering? Hold on a second. Doesn't it didn't Andrew Tate literally move overseas? Somebody I where did I hear this? Wait, didn't didn't Andrew Tate was this in was this did he talk about this in one of his TikToks? Didn't he literally move overseas so that he could do sex crimes more and like he openly admitted to that on video? Did you know Tate is involved in hum, in a human trafficking ring and has sexual assault allegations? Okay, guys, sorry. I just got to say that's the least surprising thing I've ever fucking heard in my entire life. You're telling me the alpha male guy is running a fucking human trafficking uh, ring? Wow. Tested in real time, right? America's quickly turning into the ladder, and we can see crime rates going through the roof. We can see all the fucking school shooting, all this stupid shit that's happening because men have no emotional control anymore. And that's what's going to happen. It's because society's going to degrade, I mean. and the countries where men still stick to their honor and their, their age-old expected ways of of acting are there going to be a their honor and their age old expected ways of acting bro what what fucking society are you talking about you know that like the standards of masculinity across the globe vary massively this guy just this guy is this guy is 100 vibes based isn't he is this is that what this is going to be this is going to be 100 vibes based for societies overall so time will prove me right but i have nothing against the guy he's, he's fine i think uh andrew and the previous person that was on the call are just two sides of the same coin uh they're both wrong and they're both kind of right in different ways but thinking that this has anything to do with gender is silly all right it has nothing to do with gender women can be just as oppressive and as brutal as men can be fucking true pickling croissant Whoa! Hold on a second. I got to clear this out for one second. Hold on, everybody. We got confirmation. That's right. Final confirmation. What is it? That's right. Look at that. Right there. You can see it. I'll overlay it live. Look at that. Lean, 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 lean. Chad. This confirms it. We know he's fucking zero lean. Holding the line right there. Fucking, fucking incredible. Fucking incredible. You just can't, you just, it proves it. Thank you. Thank you, Pickle and Croissant. Perfect fucking timing. She's only, oh, here we go. She's only 17 and she, and he says for her to hit him up when she's 18. Bruh. Talking about, talk about fucking attempted Ultimately, grooming. it has everything to do with capitalism and it has absolutely nothing to do with the gender. Has slam, has slam, has slam, the has assumption slam, that women are going to be like slam, hysterical slam, across slam, the board, slam, that kind slam, of generalization slam, slam. is just incorrect. And that's why Andrew, I've seen some of your work uh, as you're doing the rounds on Twitch here. And uh, a lot of the things that you said that you've been called out on, specifically in regards to like women driving, as a matter of this? fact, are just generally untrue. There's no empirical evidence to back up those claims, which is why you resort to... He was trying to get the guy to kiss his 17-year-old girlfriend on camera. anecdotes quite frequently and say things like oh well it's just common sense right but it's not technically common sense it's just cool. your That's personal fine. opinion completely it's my uh, personal opinion uh, based on my personal biases of my life experience now yeah. when i say the well, yeah exactly and when i say these things x amount of people agree with me and x amount of people disagree with me that's fine, and that's the same of nearly any statement in the world. Okay, I but can say the world is, I can say wait, the world this is, is rapid. This right here is the line that I heard. This is the only line from the entire thing that I've heard where he said some people disagree with me and some people don't, which is true about literally every single statement that has ever been said in the history of mankind. Yeah, some people agree with you and some don't. What a fucking, what a fucking whopper, intellectual fucking titan. And there'll be a percentage of people who disagree with me. That's totally and utterly fine. I come on here and talk about my own personal experiences, and my experiences, men are uh, better drivers than women. Again, I'm not saying there's no good female also. drivers. I'm not saying a female can't. No, 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 no. Car. You're misunderstanding what I'm saying. There is a truth, and then there is your own personal experiences backed oh, no, by anecdotes, a, right? Yeah, there's, or there's your own personal right, opinion no. backed by anecdotes from your own personal experiences. Now, your own personal experiences are oftentimes going to be incorrect. And, and not close to the reality. That's why there's an entire field of statistical analysis. That's why we do empirical 
Uh, that's why we rely on empirical evidence when we're making decisions. Why? Because we Let's all random, carry a bunch of random. personal biases. And when we analyze situations, we do not have enough scope to grasp the entirety of the situation. We, do, we cannot comprehend it with our human brains. Bro, listen, Which I can Which is why brain. when it comes to women driving, it's a funny point because Drop the truth is different. The truth is the exact opposite. Woman well, face no, no, listen. First things first. There's oh yeah, yeah. Because because I I don't I don't know the the exact words that Andrew Tate said, but I've seen a bunch of his TikToks going around unrelated to this conversation, and he he's like of the opinion that women should not be allowed to drive. Right? Am I am I misremembering that, Andrew Tate? Let me just make sure. Maybe he'll say it in this debate. Oh, here we go. Here's a video of him doing it. Let's see. Let's fucking see. Don't talk like a fucking geek. Man, I, I say women can't drive. Now, if okay. that upsets geeks like you, cool, whatever. Because geeks, I don't, don't give a fuck. That's what I say. If it upsets people tough. That okay, so he's just a screaming moron. All right, all right, all right. Lies, there we there's go. damn lies and there's statistics. I'm sure you've heard that from Mark. So he, his feels, his feels are very bothered is basically what we're getting here. Uh, Andrew Tate's, his emotions are all worked up. Twain, that's the first thing. The second thing is that you're, mm -hmm. you're deriving. You can you're deriving your, yeah, you can massage deriving, numbers, but. You can derive, you're deriving your truth from an internet study. That's fine. You can derive your truth from an internet study on a bunch of different things. The truth of life is the truth that you experience as an individual. That is the only truth that we all live with. An internet study? Bruh, did you know that fucking insurance literally costs less for women? Because, because. The insurance companies know that women are statistically safer drivers than men. Did you, did you know, like, like, like actuaries, people whose job is statistical analysis for profit. These guys have literally no reason to, 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 to come up with the opposite. They're literally making more money off of men because it, it because statistically women are better drivers. Within you live within your truths, I live within my truths because these are the truths I've experienced as an individual. If you certain things happen to you over and over and over and over and over again, but the truth on the internet says it's not true, that doesn't mean that your experiences are any less real. So if you to come here and say the internet says X, especially no, your experiences after can be real. You could be a statistical. It's not that men are terrible drivers. It's just that that in our society, statistically, men are more likely to get involved in road rage. And the reason for that, there's a number of reasons that have been posited for that. Um, which, but they're all theories, but the reality is that yes, men, men statistically are more likely to get angry while driving and get in an accident. That's just how it goes. Wait, wait hold on. I've just got some information from chat. Tate's Romanian mansion got raided recently by Romanian authorities in connection to two women allegedly kidnapped for sexual exploitation. By the way, Tate and his brother Tristan claim they get girlfriends to webcam for them and then take their earnings. So they're pimps. Well, anomaly, as a matter of fact, you can be one of those people, but more, more often- I'm super, I'm super curious what the girl here thinks of all this sexist shit coming from the grown ass man who wants to statuatory her. Yeah, I, I would not be super comfortable, but, uh, but I mean, I guess she's got a lot of allies here. So, I mean, this guy is not, this guy is does not seem very threatening to me, like on a person to person level. Like he seems like a fucked up creep, but he's not he doesn't seem like he would be able to endanger any of the people here. Seems like he's mostly like dangerous to young girls overseas. Which I guess that's a type of dangerous. Often than not, more often than that. I'm gonna talk to you because I keep letting you talk and you're finishing your point and I'm trying to talk. So Okay, go ahead. I'm, I'm going to. The, the fact that you're going on the internet, finding some study and saying that this is the truth. He's a world ranked MMA fighter. He can probably hurt people. Yeah. Yeah. But listen, being good at MMA can only get you so far. Okay. Listen, it can only get you so far. Especially after the age of COVID and all the fucking truth we were told with that garbage. You want to sit here and say, oh, the internet said X. I'm sure the internet did. I'm talking about my personal experiences and some people agree with me and some people do not. That is perfectly fine. Don't give a fuck if people agree with me or otherwise. People are listening to me and they're either agreeing with me or I know, but you're not. still wrong, and that's the problem. Uh, I disagree with you. Do wrong. you want to be right, or do you want to keep speaking into a hug box where people agree with you? And Prove then, to me I'm you know, wrong. Well, if you just completely devalue empirical evidence 
actuarial sciences, the Thanks. entirety of the insurance industry that relies on making these sorts of calculations to ensure that these quotes are as profitable as possible, which ends up uh, charging men higher rates than women as a statistical likelihood that men are more dangerous drivers than women across the board and get into more car accidents across the board. If you're going to look at all of that and say, it doesn't matter because that does not correspond to my own personal, uh, my own personal experiences, then you're silly. You're being silly. You're being a silly person. If everyone thought like you did, right, we would have no scientific achievements on this planet. We would still be living inside. Oh, this is such a strong start from Hassan. What a, if everybody acted like you do, we literally wouldn't have anything because it's completely true. As it turns out, facts don't care about your feelings. Out of fucking caves. And now, as much as I love Liver King personally, I don't think that uh, that would be a good planet to live on. I'm pretty happy for, I don't know, all the medical achievements, all the scientific achievements that we have reached. And... At the heart of all of that, all of those accomplishments lies Five an passing. understanding of arriving at the truth through empirical evidence. You done? Yeah. Cool. In my personal experiences, all of the car crashes I've been involved in, all the times my car was hit, and all the negative experience I've had He's on the going road, out like women Stan were at fault. That is, now you can see. Car crashes has this guy been in? Maybe he's, maybe he, may, see, it's literally, this is the funny thing. It's literally people like this guy who, it's, it's, it's people like this guy that make men have to pay more ins insurance because the average dude is better, is a, is just a just fine driver. The average guy is just fine, but stupid fuckheads like this are in a hundred accidents a year because they're blazing down the highway at 80 while drunk. And say the insurance claims say that. Seriously, dudes in the audience blame people like this. It is literally dudes like this, these fucking hothead assholes that are making life more difficult for you. Fucking ins like insane machismo bravado assholes make your life so much worse. You have no fucking idea. I never said the insurance claims don't say that. I'm saying that I am not comfortable with women driving because of my personal experience. Those are my personal experiences. But you're just a baby. You're just a whiny little baby. You can drag up all the empirical evidence in the world you want to try and drag up. Anyone with a brain knows how that aids the world agendas anyway. I don't want to go too political on a stream that's going to get taken down. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm not saying that I can't find a female race car driver. I'm not saying that. That's not what I'm saying either. I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about like uh, statistical anomalies. I'm, I'm straight up talking about the overwhelming amount of evidence that suggests that women are more bubbles. careful drivers than men. Okay. And therefore better. Ten letter name says so many fucking donuts today. We need a sub bar. Yes, we're working on it. I need. I'm working on a solution so that we can have a sub a sub and dono bar on the screen, and they will look beautiful. But I need to work on it a little bit. Uh, it's still coming. Drivers than men. Now, you keep resorting back to uh, your personal anecdotes. You under. So let me walk this. Let me walk you through this. Right. Brother, do you I, agree? I, do you agree that human I, beings have biases? Do me a favor. Do me a favor. Okay, okay. I but but, but I, hey, I respected your time. Do you want to answer yeah. my question? Do you believe that human beings have biases? Oh, absolutely. We are all biased. Okay. Completely. Do biased. you think that those biases might cloud your judgment? It's not about clouding judgment. Not just your personal cloud. Not just your own personal judgment. Do you Ideally, think our biases might cloud our personal judgment? I think every single person on earth is biased and lives within a biased absolutely. reality. Absolutely. That's absolutely true. Okay. So if you, if you agree with me on both of those accounts, you understand that your anecdotes, your own personal accumulation of information is going to be clouded by your own personal biases. So you're not going to be able to assess the information adequately in the same way that empirical evidence would. This is precisely why we look at data rather than make arguments around our, wait, let me finish. Come on. I understand what you're saying. This is, you're just, but this is precisely why we do that. We've been over the same point like five times here. Everyone's saying kick you. You're long-winded long the point. You're saying that the empirical evidence is saying X, so it doesn't matter what my personal experience is. 
that's fine. My point is, let me change it. Let's say that the empirical evidence says that a pit bull is more likely to bite you than a Dalmatian. But in your life experience, every time you went near a Dalmatian, it bit you and a pit bull never did. Are you going to go up to a Dalmatian still completely and go, oh, it's fine, completely unbiased because the empirical evidence says X when you're covered in scars? No, you're going to say Dalmatians bite me for some reason, and I'm not comfortable around Dalmatians. That's called human nature. Okay. So I'm telling so I love that he doesn't even realize what he's doing. He's just admitting that he is afraid of women. He's just sitting on here and going, women drivers are scary to me. I'm scared. This guy brands himself as an alpha male, but he's literally pissing himself over how scared he is of female drivers. Why do I keep crashing my, I mean, why do women keep crashing into my car? You my personal experiences and i don't care you, i understand your point empirical evidence Maybe says x women modest, in this country I mean, can do yes, x i completely mom. get that for second okay. it's also country because country, you're only talking about america because you're american and you don't see outside of the world that's fine i'm, I'm turkish well, actually i grew up in turkey that's that failed that was a goof that's not um, the point that's not the point i'm making the point i'm making is i'm uncomfortable with a woman driving and if you actually ask most women if it gets late at night or it starts getting dark or it starts raining rain heavily or the parking gets difficult they usually ask the man to drive themselves i know many women who do that they're not <laughs> offended by my assumption i know loads of women who go oh i don't want to park you park it loads it's not a bad yikes mixed dizzy think about it who gives a shit right it's not even a big deal you've come on here deciding you really want to stick up for the chicks and maybe you know one of them will drive over to your house it's cool We've got better things I don't to talk think about. I, I, look, look, let's be real. I don't think I need to be a, a male feminist to be able to attract women, okay? However, I, having I said that, are. having said that, that was a funny implication. Having said that, you are failing to recognize what I am trying to say. I walked I you through these steps. slowly. Guys, 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 sorry. I just want to do a quick poll. Do you guys think, do you, do you think that Hassan struggles to get laid? Like, ever. Do you think Hassan has, like, ever struggled to get laid? Like, like, at all? Tate really is barking up the wrong tree here. Like, it just doesn't work. Maybe he could have done that to, like, any, to, like, some other person. But, bruh, come on. Let's be fucking real for a minute. That's like being, like, that's like going to, like, like, fucking, like, Tom Cruise or something. And being like, yeah, I bet you don't get any girls. I bet you just want a girl to come over to your house. It's like... Bro, like, Hassan is a fucking Instagram model. Like, that was what he did for a long time. Like, what the, what the fuck? It just doesn't work. You gotta, you gotta adjust your jokes for different situations. Surely. It, the, the thing yeah. is, the Dalmatian example that you gave is great. It's Why true. is it great? Because you are creating now a hypothetical scenario in which you want your opponent to concede. I can do the exact same thing and say, well, in my personal experience, Dalmatians never bite or pit bulls never bite, whichever one you thought was the more aggressive breed, right? In my personal experience, what if in a million times that I have bred pit bulls or been around pit bulls, not a single one of them has ever been aggressive. We will never be able to arrive at oh, a meaningful solution or a resolution to this conversation you, if we're both operating so on personal Absolutely. anecdotes and hypotheticals that is not how you can conduct an appropriate debate good so now you're saying the thing i just said i have my own biases my personal experiences and i say them some people disagree and some people agree Russia and i don't 22. care you yes. now come along and but I you're have my still own wrong though because i'm not operating on bias Absolutely should have. By the way, Magos Vrin, thank you so much for the incredibly generous donations. This show is 100% viewer supported and you are the support today. So thank you very, very much, Magos Vrin. I really appreciate it. This is when I talk about women driving, I'm talking about the empirical evidence. I might have personally thought women are worse at driving than men as well. But once you arrive at, uh, once you look at the evidence and you realize that uh, said evidence suggests something else, you're yeah. probably not going to continue believing the prior thing that you believed, right? Very we, we've, let, we've went over the same point like five times. Yeah. And no, I, think no, we're just I know, but it. it's just it's just weird because okay. I can't like I, I can't perfect. break through uh, Andrew's. Oh, I, understand. Uh, I understand your point. You're saying that even if I thought here. we're losing the girl. No, no, exactly. I won't talk That's to her. Fine. He's saying. This guy is kind of fucking cringe over here. I'm not going to lie. I don't know who this guy is. Bro, that's like the cringest thing you could possibly say in this context.
even, so, if I, even if I thought women were worse drivers, I've seen empirical evidence, and I'm so smart that I ignore my own eyes and ears and believe what the internet tells me. That's what he's that's not what I'm saying. asking you to do, my I'm friend. Sure you're, I'm sure you're double vaccinated. It all makes sense to me now. You believe what you're told to believe. You don't believe your own <laughs> eyes. You don't believe your own ears. And that's what you're going to sit here and talk about empirical evidence that you found on Google. Cool. If you believe everything that's on Google, that is your prerogative, my friend. And if you think that makes you sound smart in the modern world after the three years we've just been through to say that I read a piece of paper that told me to believe X, so I believe X, and I ignore my own personal experiences. And you think I'm that not you asking sound you to ignore your own personal experiences. Be, I'm simply asking you to look at the data. So let's change the subject because you've just proven your point. Okay, Andrew, do you believe? Well, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, you didn't really prove anything, but it's cool. Uh, do you believe the Earth is flat, or do you believe the Earth is is spherical, round? Oh. Oh, the top left is a fan of Andrew Tate. Oh, that makes so much sense. That makes so much fucking sense. Okay, okay, okay. All right, also, let's find out. Two years. Aldi has, has right. his headphones on. Yeah, oh, he took his uh, headphones off? He gets very stressed sometimes and, you know. Yeah, it's yeah, it's cool. It's oh, oh, I'm sorry. He gets very stressed sometimes. You don't fucking say. This guy looks like he's about one fucking inconvenience away from fucking blowing a gasket. This is the most roided out man I've ever seen. He has no chill. Important, you know, sometimes you can't take the heat. Sometimes you can't take the heat, so you gotta get out of the kitchen a little bit. Um, Andrew, do you believe the Earth is flat or round, spherical, globe? Round. What do you believe it's round, right? But when you walk outside, it feels like it's flat. Brother, brother, and I, I, I It looks flat, it feels flat, but you believe it's round. Why Bazinga. do you believe the Earth is round? Because I have personal experience that would prove to me that the Earth is round. Oh, you have personal experience. What, what happened? Fine. Did you go up to the fucking moon? Is well, that how you figured correct. it out? Exactly. I flew up into space, and I looked down on Earth. <laughs> And yeah. I saw a big That's crazy. Okay. We, there, you don't have to. Hey, listen. You don't have to concede on that point. But I think you and I both understand the importance of scientific, uh, the importance of empirical evidence in that one, right? Or, or you know, buzzing, buzzing, buzzinga. Sorry, he got him. He fucking got him. That's it. There's no coming back from that. There's no fucking coming back from that. Science. I saw there, and I thought, wow, this guy. Wow. Okay, he's gonna ruin the stream. We had a hot chick. Now oh, you're did here. You? Is that oh. what you thought? Just, just, just chill out. Like, it's I don't look, wait, so what's up? Is it, is it a little bit more difficult when I'm not like uh, the traditional like SJW looking person? Is that why it, it, it feels like the, the stream is a little bit more ruined? No, it's not difficult. As a professional, I'll tell you the conversation we just had. Yeah, you, uh, dude, you've been kicked in the face and stuff. Like, I'm sure you can handle little old me. Exactly. So I'll tell you as a professional, the conversation we just had, I said, I am biased and I don't believe women can drive. That's my personal experience. I don't care if anyone agrees. Oh. You came along and said, you can't, don't interrupt me. You came along and said, <laughs> no, that's not true because of the evidence. I came and said, I don't care about the evidence, my personal experience. You said, I also have personal experiences and we're all biased. I agreed. Then you said, even if I had personal experiences that said X, I would ignore them because the internet told me to believe Y. I believe what I am that's told. That's not what I said. I said that over. regardless of my own personal biases that I might have, evidence is still more important than my personal biases. When you got it all talking at once, and it's boring, and you've lost, and it's boring. So let's just oh. move on to the next subject. Is that, one is that, is that what Nothing, I don't think it will ever get old seeing people who have just clearly, very obviously been owned demand that they were not owned. It's like, it's literally the, I, I'm not owned, I'm not owned! God, it's so fucking good. What happens, you just say I'm boring and I lost and then you win, you is that what it is? Do a poll, do a poll in the chat. If you won, then we'll continue to talk it, but I'm sure you've lost and it's okay. boring. And it's do you, do you want me to leave the conversation that desperately, Andrew? It seems like you're running away a little bit. Oh, we're just going in a never ending circle. Like, we've, okay, we yeah, we can move on from that. We can move on from the the <laughs> the importance of science and, and Andrew's personal biases. Andrew, can you tell me a little bit about uh, the Hustlers University, whatever that is? Not in a promotional capacity. I know that like you're doing the rounds on Twitch, and I know that that's probably giving you a big boost. But I want to understand, you know, because you are a businessman. I want to understand how you generate revenue. Uh, is it okay to get this information for Sub free, or do I have to pay fifty dollars and then maybe get an affiliate link and get other people to also join, so I can make a ten percent cut off of them also joining Hustlers University? You can find everything on the website, and you can join if you want more information. That's fine. Oh, bad luck, bro! Bad fucking luck! You just got fucking- you just got fucking rolled on! 
Dude, you can't just say, oh, uh, you could look on the website. Fucking own it, man. You don't want to, you don't want to share. The how does a guy, how does a guy so swagless, how does a guy so fucking swagless as Andrew Tate run like an alpha male channel? How is that possible? How is it possible? He's so fucking, he's so lame. He's got no zingers. He's got no comebacks. He just bumbles around smoking a shitty cigar. Bruh. This information for free right now. You don't want to educate me on that. I don't want to sit here and spend the next hour you trying to accuse what? me of some bullshit. I'm not. It's, it's I'm not. I'm I'm here to learn. Andrew, you are a brilliant right. mind. Yeah, like, sure Maybe a little rattled. Maybe a little rattled from uh, the, the numerous concussions, but brilliant nonetheless. So I want to hear more about your business strategy, if possible. Oh, he, oh, allegedly he asked AstroTurfs like half of his community has dozens, if not hundreds of sock fan channels. Oh, that's wild. Possible. It's actually quite interesting that people who are too scared to get in the ring try and make fun of people who have bravery to try and make fun of them. No, I do oh. think it's very- Oh, I've been, uh, I've been sipping away at this Diet Coke. Uh, I don't have water up here today, but don't worry. The, the Diet Coke has tons in it, and there was I had water earlier. But thank you. Very brave. I do think. Okay. I do think it's very brave. Oh, oh, all right. So let's let's not let's not let's not detract the bravery of men who do things you're afraid to do. That's the first thing. The no, no, no. Thing, you you are absolutely yeah. incredibly brave. You still might okay. have CTE, but you are incredibly brave. I I, I appreciate yeah. it. I mean, whatever. It's fine. Uh, cool. The point I'm trying to make is, I know you want to sit here and talk about hate you and try and break it down, and you've prepared a bunch of notes, etc. CTE is a uh, is is like a term for a concuss a, a concussive brain injury. I have no notes whatsoever. I'm a dumbass. I don't know anything I'm talking about. I'm simply here to learn from you. Yo, can we stop with the sarcastic shit and just have an actual No, I'm literally, but that's the truth. Bro, you're being so sarcastic though. Like, why are you being so sarcastic? Like, I'm not. I'm literally. Oh, come like on. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. I'm asking questions. Yeah, I thought. being sarcastic. Like, listen. I listen. thought, please. It's you getting a maximalism stream part two. It's pretty clear that I was the better Hassan. So. Yeah, that's agreed. I agree with that one. If, that's for sure. if you could just get out the call, maybe it would fix the stream. Uh -huh. I think so. It's would boring, you guys, man. if you guys would like me to leave the call, I can do that. I don't want to hey, be. I, I don't gotta, want to be rude. I gotta get back to work. I I, I do not want to be rude, boys. Uh, you know, this is your stream, uh, Andrew. Uh, I'd love to talk to you in more detail if you'd like to. I I hope that one day you can uh, educate me on your your revenue strategies. Uh, I if mean, it's, it's, it does look a little bad though. If you're this. like, if you feel as though I should leave the call because you feel like I'm overpowering oh, you a little you bit, call. you should stay on the call, but I think you should be more socially aware. I am. And understand well, oh, is no, that a no, bad I'm, question? Do you no, not educate no. thousands of you, young men you, about your business you, strategies? I want to know more. Proud dad. Okay. I want you to be more socially aware and understand that since you've joined the stream, everyone's begging for you to leave the vibes down. It's boring. It's, it's late at night for me. I came here to have this is the le this is one of the most pathetic like this is this is this is you guys know I've been on a fucking thousand panels this is pathetic just oh oh you're you're everybody wants you to go away you're bringing down the vibe by asking me simple questions and making me look like an idiot you're right your vibe is down bro but it, it wasn't very high to begin with fun you're being boring no one thinks you're cool no one thinks you're intelligent no one thinks you're funny i, you I don't think i'm i mean so far hassan is the only interesting person on this entire panel this guy has barely like tate has barely said anything of, of value these people are just sitting here watching so i don't know what he's talking about it's just not it's just not working it's not working his fucking insults aren't selling. Cool or intelligent. Wait. I just have questions and you're not answering them for some reason. No, I don't Why are we derailing? I don't have to answer your questions. You're not the police. I don't have to answer you. No, anything. no, no, not at all. No, I am not the UK police nor the Romanian one. I'm simply yeah. asking you questions about your business strategy, which you which you literally <laughs> educate. <laughs> I'm not the UK. Oh, whoo! Need people on. I just want to know how you fucking uh, how you do growth and revenue. I, why can't I be a hustler? I want to be a hustler like, like you. I want to be a top G, a top bloke, a proper bloke. Right. You can find out more on the website. I would like the stream to get fun again. If you want to discuss this, you don't think your educational content is fun for people to consume? I think everyone's saying kick him. Read the chat. Have you guys read the chat on your stream? You want me to? You want me to leave that bad? I'll. If you want me to leave that bad, I'll leave. 
you're, you're just being I, I mean listen i'm just i'm just a, i'm just a messenger but you're just kind of like being sarcastic making i'm not i'm literally not i promise you are being i swear to allah that, that i want to know just saying wasn't sarcastic don't even you can't even convince me none that of none not of what sarcastic. i have mentioned is sarcastic i truly so would like to know more percent kick 85 percent. no one thinks you're funny or interesting or witty your your little comebacks no one's interested in them you haven't Aww. won anything Andrew it's okay it's okay event. andrew if you want we can have a we can have a conversation again we can have a conversation again in the future if you'd like if you if you're brave enough i guess if you have HU has an affiliate program for some people if they want to affiliate like everything else in the world. We have over 100,000 students making more than they invest each month. If they didn't make more than they invest, they would It's a literal, oh my God, it's a multi, his thing is a multi-level marketing. Oh! One of the most successful online educational platforms in history. Is it, is it, are join. there multiple layers? You can learn how to make some money yourself if you want to join and have more information. It's all on corporatetech.com. You can find out yourself. If you're too cheap to pay $50, then you're a brokey. Nobody gives a shit what you think anyway. You've ruined the stream. Everyone wants you out of it. So either change tune and get with the program and be fun or keep sitting here and talking sarcastic and really slowly and repeating yourself and talking about how you only believe what you see on the internet because no one really gives a fuck and it's boring. So let's move on to something fun. Let's get the tempo up. I've just told you about hate you. We do have an affiliate program. You can find out more on CobraTech.com. Yeah. No, it, it is. So, okay. So it is a multi-level marketing scheme. Got it. I just wanted to figure out if it was a, truly a pyramid scheme. It would be inappropriate of me to assume that it's a pyramid scheme without having you explain it uh, in such terms. But thank you. All right. Whatever a, whatever you guys want to talk about, I'm, I'm game. You're welcome to affiliate anytime you like, friend. There's no problem. Yeah. All right. So uh, let's move on because this dude is. This is like this is some fucking styling. This guy's getting. This guy was not prepared for this. This guy needs a fucking media guy. He needs somebody to do some media training with him. That was pathetic. He like crumpled. Hassan Hassan isn't even like the best debater on the planet. He just fucking crumpled this guy. It wasn't even close. He's lame, my friends. Let's All get right, the Yeah, Hassan, I, I appreciate you coming on. We're gonna bring in another guest though. All right, peace, boys. Son, Have fun, I mean, I, Andrew. I'm always out. open to talk to you, my friend, if you'd like yeah. to. We'll have another conversation. Have night. Thank you, my friend. Have a good night. That was bullshit. I've never seen a man act so hysterical. I thought he was such a fucking big boy. What happened? That's crazy. What happened there? So wait, they have a part two, right? Oh, they go. Oh, he goes back. How are you gonna fucking talk so much shit happens? and then cry like a baby? That, that's it? That's all he had in him? That's pathetic. Lamel. My man was in his fifis on that one. That was... <laughs> I get why they kicked you off the stream. I don't like seeing my daddy get fucked raw either. God damn, dude. Andrew Tate. That's not good, brother. So... How when hard are they, they dick back? riding him on stream right now? Let's hear. Oh, man. Wasn't that guy oh, so fucking oh, they boring? Pop in. Right? And then he thinks he caught me somehow. But really, he just killed the vibe. I would have loved to argue with him, but he was so boring. <laughs> was so boring. <laughs> Bro, come on. That is... That is sad. That's literally all you've got is to call him boring. Man, you, you got... You got fucking checkmated on both points that he brought up. I mean, like, I, I'm not trying to like, I'm, this is going to come up extremely Andrew dick riding, bro. But like, he most, had the same point five times in a row, bro. Man, like, yeah, bro. My fucking bro, I, bro I, I, point for 20 minutes, bro. I know what y'all were talking about. Like, uh, I'm going to be honest. Was, what You guys were using like, words that were different. Bro, that is, dude, 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 come on, brother. That is so funny. That is dick riding, homie. That is what you're doing. <laughs> God damn, dude. Slobbing on it, too. Now I know Andrew's never going to fucking talk to me, though, unfortunately. I think we, we find... We... Oh, wait. So, okay. So, wait. Does anybody have a link to the part where he creeps on the girl? Can we... Is that... That's, that part is when Hassan is gone, right? Can we, can we see that? I want to see that fucking th shit. Hold on. Where's the where's the part? Where's the part with that? I want to see what happens when Hassan is gone. I'm interested because everybody's been talking about this. I want to see him fucking. I want to see what he says. Who's got it? Who's got the fucking link? Here we go. 
All right, so this is the one. Okay. Oh boy. What's going go. on, guys? For the second time today, this is daily twelve. Don his girlfriend that's also seventy. Oh shit. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell him. I'm gonna tell him to try one more time. Please don't scare him off. Just chill, relax. I'm gonna tell him what to do. If he fucks it up, if he fucks it up, if he fucks it up again, we're gonna replace him, and I'll find you a new boyfriend. Okay. I want to do it later. Ah, uh, you don't do it on stream because he's, because he's been all weird. Oh, okay. Hold on a second, everybody. Hold on. Here. Let me get this so you can see, so it's not blocked, okay? Here we go. So here's, this is before Hassan comes in. Okay, everybody? Now like a fucking Fortnite world. Weird it out. It's fine. You know, like if you ever, once you're 18, if you want to get yourself a real man, I know a guy. You do? I do, yeah. I do know a guy. Who is it? What? It, it's a it's a long story. I can't tell you exactly who because there's bad, there's bad things no, about the fuck out of the room. Yo, there's no fucking way you just said that. No, no, no. I actually overheard that. The fact that you fucking said that shit is fucking crazy. That's fucked up. You were dead ass being a W fucking wingman, and the fact that you come in and say that shit is actually fucked up. Like, go ahead, bro. If, 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 if you want to go, if you want to go fucking eighteen year old, that's weird. That is pretty weird. Cause I know who you're talking about right now. You you said once you turned eighteen, you would fly out to fucking Romania and fuck it. That is weird. That is fucking weird. Cause at least listen, listen, listen. You messed it up. I'll take you. Bitch on your stream, you messed it up, my G. You get out of my fucking you sloppy seconds, motherfucker. I well, I think that I think that clip pretty much speaks for itself, doesn't it? Doesn't it? That pretty much speaks for itself, doesn't it? All right, let's see if we can find out here where Hassan pops back in. Is it here? Yeah, hopefully it's a wait. Yeah, exactly. Hopefully it's a wake up call for that guy. Jesus Christ. Hey, kiss her. Yeah, sorry. What's up? She, she chose you. She chose you. Kiss her. Head, man. She chose you. Give her a kiss. My audio's fucking up. Hello? Oh. She chose you. Give her a kiss. What happened? Bro. No, this shit's bugging out, bro. Quick, bro. It's Come bugging on. the fuck out. What's up? Bro, clicks. I'm gonna come up there, bro. What? I'm gonna kiss you your girl, bro. I'm gonna kiss your girl, bro. You what? got you got one more minute, bro. Or I'm gonna come kiss your girl. Nah. Alright, so <clears throat> Mr. Tate, what do you want me to do? Sorry. Dude, this is so this is so fuck fucking weird. Like, okay, hold on. We gotta talk for a second. Like, so not only is like Andrew Tate a piece of shit, but Andrew Tate's buddy here is fucking gross. This is an underage girl, and both of them are, like, literally, first of all, talking about her in the third person like she's not fucking right there. They're both threatening to come steal the girl from him. Man, the straights are really not okay. They're, like, really, they're like a menace. Like, straight up. Straight people are a fucking menace. I swear to God. It's the sexual harassment panel. This is what passes as entertainment on Twitch these days. What the absolute fuck? She chose you, yeah. and she did that because that was your chance to kiss her. She gave nah, you the prom. That's what I'm saying. And you really like you, you chose me over T. <clears throat> You're like dodging to kiss me. It's just like I don't really feel the love. You know what I'm saying? She ain't dodging shit. You're dodging it. Lean in and give her a kiss, pussy. Has, that's give her not. A kiss no, it has to be special. I feel like, you know, she doesn't want, you know, the click stick on stream. <laughs> she doesn't want on stream, you know what I'm saying? I just, I think off stream, you know what I'm saying? You know, it'll, you know what I'm saying? This is weird. This poor kid. This kid's trying to not, like, they're like, literally, he's trying, this guy is, is, is pressuring a minor to do a set, to, to make out with her boyfriend on stream. And this guy's just like, bro, I'm not comfortable with this. Weird as fuck, bro. Hassle. Mama, you just don't understand. This is how top blokes behave. Okay, here's the rule. If that's how top blokes behave, blokes should no longer exist. Okay? I that's it. This is this is the stream that did it. I am now I am now anti het. I am now anti uh anti man. That's it. This is the stream that did it. It's Andrew Tate's fault. Andrew Tate and his people are going to lead to the release of the estrogenized gas all over the planet. That's it. Blokes abolished. Yeah. All right. Wait, you want to Look at his Take face. What like the fuck? You. He's Lean so creepy, brother. What is happening? Yo, she's not down. I'm gonna keep it real. All right. There, there, there. Down. 
At this, worshiper of the Olympian says, as a straight man, I wish I was arrow ace right now. Bro, uh, look, I, I feel you so hard. This is one of, this is the most gross, cringy shit. It, I've never felt more happy being a fucking raging queer than this moment right now, knowing I never, ever have to engage with any of these people. Not even a little. I don't even have to come close to these fucking weirdos. Holy shit. Give her a kiss. Uh, give her a kiss. Uh, go, 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 go. Okay, we're done with this. This is, this is like... That I don't even know what's going on here. All I know is that the man Cobra Tate is You're funnier than Andrew Taint. Uh Andrew Taint is thirty five years old. So he legit said when you turn eighteen, I know a guy. So he knows she's seventeen. Yo, this dude is fucking crazy, dude. This is literally Tate's wheelhouse forcing people yeah. to do sex work on webcam. This is why people wanted you kicked for lol. Dude. Ah, okay, here's round two. All right, let's do round two. Fuck this, fuck this random shit. Let's do round two. All right, we gotta do it. This is it. We gotta do round two, everybody. Fucking let's do it. is this on? Uh, Andrew, uh, I don't know if you heard it. Go ahead and Andrew, tell him. Like, it's 6, 16 a.m. We're having fun. We can do, like, some debate if we want, whatever, whatever, but it can't be. No, no, be... no, I'm not even, I'm not even trying to debate. I just, I, I just was trying to get Aiden to say that you were coping about the mic thing, but he doesn't, he wouldn't, he refused well, to say it. Means, we can... Bro. Mike, it's such cope, cope, cope. He's but cope, no, I cope. do, I do. Fix it, Mike. Fix it, Mike. It's okay. It's gone. It's gone. Okay. Well, I do gotta, I do gotta admit that no, it does take balls to then uh, say that you would uh, be down to debate me or have a conversation with me next time around. So you know, props to you on that one for sure. Uh, we can do it at a different time. A real man, a real alpha. I'm a member of Hustlers University now. Okay. So, a real so tough G does not make excuses. It gets better. Welcome to Hustlers University, my friend. Hopefully, you can. Uh, you know, stop being a brokey. I'm a member, Tate. A workie? I'm a member. Wait, Chase, are you saying- Calling Hassan a brokey, like the most, one of the most successful streamers in the world, a, a brokey is, again, his jokes just don't land. He's used to like, he's used to picking on people that he perceives as like poorer than him. But like, bro, I, I'm sorry. I don't even think with your MLM, you're gonna keep up with Hassan. This man's loaded. Signed up too. I swear I signed up. Tell everyone the Hustle Thanks. University changed your life. Let's Wait, do that. Hassan, real quick. I always wanted to ask you this question. Who did you vote for? What? Joe what Biden. Mean? I voted for Joe Biden. Oh, I voted for Kanye. Nice. Okay, that's okay. Uh, oh, no. I'm don't sorry get that, I'm oh, sorry that they didn't work out. Well, hold Hassan, on again. Next You'll topic. No, I can't. It's over. Hassan, do you think Joe Biden's a good president? Right. No. That's it. Fucking dog shit. All right. At least, at least you're not too completely insane. Then, okay. There's, there's some hope for our conversations in future. I was waiting for you to start defending Joe Biden. <laughs> no, Joe say, Biden oh, sucks. A waste of time. I mean, I mean, let's be honest though. I mean, I saw a vote for Bernie, so I mean, that's. I love that. Bernie. Bernie's great. Wait, he's gonna soy screech dick ride? What the fuck does honest. that mean? Copium. What, yeah, what should I? Bernie. What I... Bernie is honest. None of them are. Yeah. Well. Yeah. But the Democrats. Bernie's more up. honest than than all the other ones. I want to talk about Hustlers University, guys. Listen, I only have 101,000 students. I want to try and, you know, get okay, that up. Okay, let's push try. it. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I, I, I do want to talk to you about that, but if you if you bring that up, it's going to turn into a debate. I'm just saying. No, no, it's fine. Hassan thinks it's MLM, but he's obviously joined, so he, so I got his money. Pow. That's that done. Yo! I didn't actually, I didn't actually <laughs> join. I was being sarcastic. But. Tell me, tell me how, why you joined. Your other friend said he joined. It changed his I life. Joined I joined too, by the way. I can tell you why I joined, too. Cool, let's talk I, about I was, it. I was broke. I was broke. I saw how you live, and I wanted to get rich. But I've only been in it for like three weeks, but I've been making some bread. I've been making some bread. Have you made more than you invested? Yeah, duh. So is it a good investment? Duh, I made money. I made loads off of just a Bro, little investment. Are you, okay, no, okay. No, so no, question. Honest, how I'm are you honest. making money? By how selling are you making the money? Or what? I don't want to get How into are you making the money? money? Don't worry don't about how we make it on money. Yeah. Don't I don't want to get into that. Uh oh! Sounds like you're lying, bro. Sounds like you're not making money. Sounds like you're about to fucking find out that you spent your money and got ripped off because you're in a pyramid scheme, bro. How the fuck? You're he won't say how he made the money. He didn't make money. Listen, if anybody ever tells you they're making mad money on an MLM, they're either lying or they're scamming a million other people. Those are the two options. They're either a liar or they're scamming a million other people. Just how it goes. I don't, I don't, you, if you want to, are you, you making the money? Are you making the money through affiliate codes, or are you actually making money? 
I'm actually making money. Okay. Not through wow. affiliate codes. You're like following yeah, yeah, following yeah, the steps. Yeah. 18 okay, what are you doing? You got to sign up to see. That's right. Bro. Oh, bro. He's... Oh, he just got fucking busted. This is, oh. this is such a scam, brother. Come on. You got to at least... For, uh, you're just doing a hashtag ad at this point for, I'd for I'd fucking I'd, 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 Hustlers I'd, I'd, University. I'm going to be honest. Okay. Hold on, Stag, go ahead. Bro. Tell your story. I joined. I was like, dad broke. I had like, what? 10k to my name i joined that guy even broker so i don't know what the fuck like what the fuck <laughs> i joined the guy broke i had 10k to my name i joined i got even broker <laughs> oh no that didn't go so bad broker like I was that didn't go so good no. like everything I, everything you told me to did i did and it just it just fucking went down it went downhill it was ass bro so so we have a positive review and a negative review and then we have hassan in the middle who thinks it's all a big scam no, I, I know it's a scam, brother. I know it's a scam. Come on. I mean, one, is it, it? Look, look, look. It, it's not even a new one. Our fucking parents. There's probably kids in this chat right now whose moms and, and dads uh, did a version of this. It's called Herbalife. Amway. It, yep. Yep. It has existed throughout time. The multi-level marketing scheme. Yep. There was like five of them entire, in there. The blood. entire fucking point XQ, is what do you to... Mean? Promote it so you can fucking you can basically substitute the bag down to the next person, and you're at the tippy fucking top, man, bitch. collecting the the entirety, ninety percent of profits from every single fucking sale made. Fifty dollars might not come across like a big amount of money, but over the over uh, one hundred and ten thousand people, that's a lot of fucking cookies you're making every month. Yeah, obviously you're wrong, but let's uh, <laughs> discuss this at length during our next official organized debate. Because if I I can't, but I. Can't. Am I wrong? Uh, a worshiper of the Olympians from YouTube chat says, am I wrong for thinking that we need to do better when it comes to young men? We need to do so much better, but it's so fucking difficult. It's so fucking difficult because people like this Andrew Tate motherfucker who find themselves with money for whatever reason or another, maybe he was left a bunch of money, maybe he fucking actually made some money doing something. These guys will fucking scam their way and they sell based on the pre-existing biases. So tons of young men fall into it. It just does more and more damage. Like literally the, like what Hassan is doing right now, fucking taking down people like this guy is vital or else dudes are just gonna keep getting pulled into this shit over and over and over again. They just, it's not like what Andrew Tate is doing is just playing to pre-existing biases. That's all he does. He just creates more Tates. It's fucking sad. Yeah. Can't stop myself. We're going to talk about it. Like if, if cheese are over, he's going to fucking praise it. Like in front of 110,000 impressionable kids, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to talk honest, about it. I'm not, praise, I'm not praising it crazy. I'm just saying I'm, money off it. I'm not going to lie. He did just buy a rolly. He did just buy a rolly. What, what did you, what did you do in three weeks? Expensive purchases money. does not necessarily. I want to hear, I want to hear. What did you do? You made making bread how? Find out. We're going to give it away for free. Andrew Tate got rich off of his chess master dad who owned a casino. Fucking imagine my fucking shock. Imagine my shock. He's a fucking little rich kid with a big fat fucking uh, inheritance. Imagine my fucking shock. I can't just say that. That's fucked towards him. I can't just give out his sauce. So did you did you did you get a job or you signed the book? What no, are you doing? I didn't, have, I didn't have to get a job. So no job. Okay, so how did you not sign the book? So did you make money up here? Like what are you doing? You saying what? Saying weed? Just sign up. Just sign up. That's all. You just gotta sign, sign up, bro. up, bro. Sign up. It's fifty bucks. Don't be tight. Like you know. Got, I, I, yeah, I, come on. This come on, makes come on, no sense. I am buying. Okay. Fifty dollars. Come, come, come on. Come on. Just buy the snake oil. Just buy the snake oil, and you'll see. Sure, you'll be out your fifty bucks, and I will made another fifty bucks, and I'll be scamming the people who are listening. Just buy. Just pay fifty bucks. Pathetic. I'll dedicate it to the socialist new world, whatever you want. I'll take your 50 bucks out of the pot and I'll put it into something. You're so wait, is this guy here Aiden Ross? Is this Aiden Ross? Is that who this guy is? Somebody tell me. This is XQC down here, isn't it? So this guy's Aiden Ross? Okay, all right. Happy with, don't worry about it. And and just- Oh, we need an updated, we need an updated drip review. Okay, hold on. We need an updated drip review real quick. All right, so this guy, uh, I like his hat. He's leaning back, so it's kind of hard to see in his room. But I like his hat. Hat's looking good. Like his, his what I could see of his facial hair, pretty decent. This guy, uh, he's got the cockatiel going on, which is a bold move. You know, it's a bold move to have the little cockatiel hairdo. Yeah. All right. Okay. 
Known for peddling gambling to minors. Okay, so so no one's gonna get mad if I point out the actual truth here, which is that I was being a little nice. Uh, this guy's got the fucking cockatiel with this hairline, bro. That's not working for you, man. You can't do like a you can't do like a forelock when your when your when your hairline goes back like a, a literal like six inches, and you've got a forelock shooting out like this, man. It just does not work. Try something else. Fucking embrace the bald. All right. Credit to Tate. At least he's embraced the bald. Anyway, this guy over here uh, looks like a gamer. This guy's head is halfway off the screen, so I really can't do a, I cannot do a, a drip review on this guy. Uh, the duct tape on the headphones has me a little worried about the, the drip review. Damn. Uh, XQC, smiley face shirt, chill ass basement, fucking styling ass hair. I think XQC might be one-upping Hassan here, actually. Yeah, it's pretty good, I gotta say. Plus, he's enjoying a nice snack. It's always a confident play. And, of course, we already did Tate and Hassan here. So, yeah, there you Time. go. Updated drip There's 18 you. modern wealth creation methods. And what actually, if you want to be a logical person, Mr. Imperial Evidence, what you'll understand is that don't be impressed that I've managed to get 110,000 people to sign up. It's, I it's empirical. It's not imperial. <laughs> I, ret I retain those people, and the fact that I can retain that many students means there's 110,000 people in the world making more money than they invest every single month. So or, you're or they're gonna make money under the field. That's why they're in, no. because they're getting royalties off the bottom. No, no, we have less. We have less than 6,000. I think the affiliate program closed a few months ago, so less than 6,000 students are even allowed to affiliate. So the rest of them, 104,000 people, are making money other ways, and they renew every single month. You're you're welcome to join. Like Hassan has another video of him going over Tate's leaked Hustler University level one video. It's pure garbage. Oh, we got to do that on stream. We got to react to the video ourselves. All right. All right. Maybe next stream we'll react to that shit ourselves. That'd be fucking hilarious. Like, there's no way that a, a, a university or an education program would get this big if nobody was making money. People are making a lot of money. Even if you dislike me as an individual, that's fine. People are making a bunch of money. Everyone's getting rich. There's a whole bunch, there's a whole section on wins. You can join, go oh, in the yeah, wins totally. channel. Bro, this is, that's what they always say. Everybody's always getting rich. It's a ma it's magic. By the way, if you've never, if you've never actually looked into the function of MLMs, they always lie. There are always a majority of bag holders. That's how they work. They, they, they call them pyramid schemes for a reason. There's a giant group of people on the bottom who lose their money. They lose money and that's all they do is lose money and the rest are leeching off of them. They are literal money printing scams for the people at the top. They are fucking terrible. I mean, Ty Lopez did this too, bro. Like, it's the same wait, shit. Wait, it's literally wait, the same I saw, shit. Was Ty Lopez the guy who was like, hey, look at my Lamborghini. Look at my Yeah, exactly. And, and instead of Lamborghini, oh, hell, Cheezer, I wanted doing, to look at my so Bugatti. Hell, no. Cheezer, no, I'm talking about is literally yeah, doing the same yeah. thing verbatim, but instead he's doing, look at my Bugatti instead of my fucking Lamborghini. And that's well, the difference. H U existed before I collected that car, so that's not true. But H U is a, an amazing product that I stand by. It's fantastic. And when you finally give in and join, you're gonna be happy you did. Don't worry about it, bro. I'm, I'm yeah, good. I say otherwise, bro. I, I, out of everyone else on this call, I'm the only motherfucker who gets uh, blasted on the timeline for for uh, buying nice things and also having money. So I'm good. I don't need to make more. <laughs> Oof! See now that's a flex that works. That's a flex that works because it's fucking true. It is true. Hassan's been canceled to hell for buying nice things, so he can't really use those jokes against him. It doesn't fucking work. Money. Not only, not only credit credit, credit works do, okay? Yeah, and, and that's the thing. Both thanks to you and I, uh, we, love, we love what we do. We like streaming for the sake of streaming for the most part. I find it very fulfilling, but also because of the amount of subscribers I have, because of the financial freedom that I have from my own community. I don't need to fucking, you know, take on sponsorship deals or anything like that. And I don't need Look. to take on Hustlers University. And when I see a scam, I can call it out as I see it. I'm trying very hard not to, you know, debate because we can that, do it at fine. a later date if you want to talk about this, but no, it's not this new. It's happened time and time. Worshipper of the Olympian says this guy's all over TikTok and it's annoying as fuck. I've seen a couple of his TikToks in the past. Uh, that's basically the only context I have for this guy. His TikToks make me cringe. He has one where he, the, I referenced this at the beginning. Andrew Tate has some TikTok where he's like, yeah, you know, some people, they say that I'm missing out by not having seen Star Wars, but you're missing out on being a millionaire. That's like the tier of content this guy does. Fucking sad.
time again. By the way, Chad, I'm not believe, getting paid to promote. You, you, no, no, that's fine. Exactly. Don't buy it, bro. No, that's good. You Do believe it's a scam. It, you believe it's the old school MLM. Don't I told buy you to join for fifty dollars. You're saying that you're rich, but you refuse to join. So obviously, you don't know what the product is. <laughs> you've never seen it yourself. You're just going based on what you've decided. And that's that's completely fine. You're not gonna reduce our subscriber number. Every single time I do one of these Twitches, we get three, four, five, six thousand new students. Everything's going fantastic for us. Yeah, We're because just so far, yeah, just, no, you, you admit it, you admit it. This is a good way to market your, your product. I'm marketing. Because people don't push back because Aiden is like, like I said, he's dick eating a little oh, bit. Oh, pretext, not, oh, I'm really so hey, hey, You're not gonna talk to my homie like that. Watch your mouth, you're hey, not dick riding. Right. Appreciate you, gang. Appreciate right. you. What is he, what is he yeah, doing great. then? It is a cool what, what guy. You, what would you call what he's doing then? I mean, he's just, he's he's just learning. He's just learning new things, bro. Like, <laughs> learning. Yeah, learning how to ride the dick harder. Hey, That's watch your learned. fucking mouth. He's not dick riding. I'm not indeed. I'm not. So, <laughs> so wait, is this like his, is this like an E bodyguard? Is, is this guy over here just a, just a Aiden Ross's like, soy bodyguard like if he starts soying out too much this guy steps in to be like no he's he's cool he's cool he's not dick riding he's definitely definitely not dick riding man i gotta get one of those i gotta get i gotta get an e-bodyguard just kidding i can carry my fucking own okay bro no no, no he's dick riding him this is like a centipede it's like the movie he's dick riding. <laughs> no, that was funny i'm not gonna lie that was kind of funny listen rare, I mean, he's rare w okay. rare omega -Lul. I don't know. I think I do understand because like the people on the internet who hate me because I just found out after our little debate because I didn't I didn't I, I'm new to Twitch. Ooh, Worship of the Olympians from YouTube chat says uh, Andrew Tate has his customers, quote unquote, for lack of a better term, clip his podcast and then link the MLM in their bios. That is so scummy. That is so fucking scummy. That is that is that is fucking classic MLM shit. That is fucking classic pyramid scheme shit. I'm only a week into this. I don't even have a proper account. I just jumped in when Aiden invited me for the first time. I don't know who any of the big guys are. I didn't know. It turns out you're a famous Twitcher or streamer. I didn't know any of that. I didn't have a clue who you were. Oh, no, and, not uh, even. Then someone said on Twitter, yeah, he, he's, been, he's a fan of yours. He's been watching you for a while. He does all your videos. Da -da. So you've been watching me for a long time. So you're a fan of mine. But I don't even know your worldview. I don't know your paradigms. I don't know how you view the world. I don't know where you lie on the political spectrum. I don't know anything. But I wouldn't necessarily say fan. Um, but no, I have seen some of your... Uh some of your work most of the information i found out about you is completely against my will i mean you've been popping off and i wondered why does andrew tate oh because i you also dated uh, jordan peterson's daughter which is a rare w for you and also i saw you uh talk about joining the marine corps as a uh, pussy shit which is another rare w for you but outside of that it's usually just a sequence of l's Wait, i was wondering this about him? andrew tate fuck? doesn't have uh Animal. andrew like, tate what? doesn't have uh any like he has a lot of social media footprint but not necessarily a lot of accounts how is this happening what i wondered accounts? how is this what, how does this account? work what? why are there so many people out there that are making accounts and promoting all of your podcast appearances oh my god they literally they literally use his oh my fucking god they just use his last fucking they use his name so he's created a self-reinforcing SEO bubble, which means when the bubble pops, it's going to be disastrous. Oh, man, that is so scummy. Well, it's OK. All of his all of his fucking bag holders are going to get what they deserve. Flipping you and defending you every single time. Because I inspire it, people, my friend. Well, part of it is because I think there is a financial interest that's associated with it because the more they promote you, the more they can sell Hustlers University to other people so they can get an affiliate code. Uh, the, nope. the percentage that you get with your affiliate code when you get other people to join Hustlers University. That's where it came from. That's yes. when I realized, oh shit, okay, it's just a basic uh, multi-level so marketing scheme. You've been a fan of me for a long time. You've been watching me for a long time. We agree. Everything. You can I don't say that if you want. want. I don't have sure. a clue who you are. Uh, I don't know your political affiliations, et cetera, et cetera. I understand the internet and I understand how the internet works. So it's very easy to come along and say, Tate's making over 10, $15 million a month. We have to find a way to discredit that. We can't discredit the amount he's making because we know oh. that to be a fact. So we're going to come, uh, uh, come along and say it's being made dishonestly. I understand that. But, and, and hey, it's fine. If that's the prerogative, people can come along and say whatever they want. If it was a dishonest program and a dishonest system, then I wouldn't have so many happy students. I wouldn't have five-star reviews. I would, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, dude. Same thing. Same thing is why, like, if it, if an Amazon product is bad, there's no way it can have five star reviews. Like, there's just no way at all.
Yeah, this is like rock solid logic. People, you know, it's not like you can like, it's not like you can pay for reviews. You know, it's not like you can bot things or totally fucking manipulate it. It's not like MLMs are notorious for getting people into a cult-like mindset and leaving thousands of people in the fucking dirt. Well, welcome, Violet knows, Metal Mark. But I understand that it's very I'm glad you could make it, Violet Metal Mark. Easy to be jealous, and when you're a fan and you're watching all my stuff, that you're going to come up with these theories. Brother, I already told you, I'm the only motherfucker in this call who gets flamed when I make more money. I already make too much money. I'm good. So, no, it's not. Wait, it's definitely wait. not jealousy. A hundred times, a hundred thousand times, times 50, not five mil? That is correct. But that's not the only thing I have. It's not the only program in the system. Damn, you make I'm five M a month off of it? Yo, I that, need a percent of that, bro. I, I bought it. I need a percent. Yeah, of that. bro. I lost money and shit. I need more money back, bro. But that, but that's, but that's if you, that's if you take everything on top of that. What's, what's the rest of the revenue going from then? So what I have it? to be. I was, so this is a stream. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you everything I do. But people know I own some casinos. People know that. That's public knowledge. I own casinos in Romania. So I have a. <laughs> I have 14 casino locations. Damn. I have, Damn. Uh, Damn. Yeah, I have. Damn. I have. A, I have a substantial property portfolio across four. There's literally four dick riders in here. They just want money from him. Oh. oh so fucking. Oh, man. You know what feels good? You know what feels good? Being a brokey with self respect. I don't got no mansions. I don't got no fancy cars. But you know what I do have? I can sleep at night. I can rest. I'm proud. I built what I built myself. Fucking the biggest dub. I never have to behave like these fucking cucks. I never have to dick ride some guy just because he has a bunch of money. The most putrid, unfunny assholes in the world. I don't have to ever dick ride anybody like that. Ever. Never. I will never find myself in that position. Not once in my fucking life. It's sick. What a great feeling. What a fucking, what a fucking triumphant feeling. Five different countries. Uh, I have Hustlers University. I have the War Room. I, I still have, my brother still owns an agency that manages only. True, I do have a whole bunch of partners who actually like me, which is pretty poggers, I gotta say. And I have a great dog and a garden. It's fucking sick as hell. I do, I do have a dear girl. I have made it. Fans, girls. I've made it in ways that these guys can only wish. It, th these guys might have, these guys might have some pocket fucking change, but how many of them have pets? So between it all, we're, I mean, between it all, we're, we're, we're doing very, very well. And the idea that we would be out here desperate to scam people is obviously not true because we don't need to. We no, I don't think it's a, it's I don't a, scam, a desperate scam. scam. It's just yeah. an additional scam on top of the casinos you own cool. and numerous other things well, that you just mentioned. You know, I mean, cause see, calling casinos a scam. I mean, well, yeah, casinos are rigged. I mean, there's a... I think I might be happy. Welcome. Welcome to the chat. Uh, you probably found yourself here because Andrew Tate's in the algorithm and we're reviewing Andrew Tate. I hope you'll stay for a while. We're an interesting community. We're very, very gay community. It's real wild. We do lots of funny stuff. And I guarantee you, if you like, if you like Andrew Tate, I can tell you right now, I'm a hundred times funnier than that motherfucker. You could do better, my friend. And you have already done it by finding yourself here. Don't forget to subscribe. There's a built-in bias. Yeah, that's right. I said it. Fucking subscribe to Demon Mama. You're gonna you ha, s chat. My lovely chat. Give me some fucking backup here. Did you not have an absolute fucking blast for the last seven and a half hours? I have kept you laughing. I have kept you crying. You have been feeling emotions. You've been having a good ass time, have you not? Have you fucking not been having a sick ass time? That's fucking right. Look at that. Look at that chat. Oh, look at. Mm, oh, give it to me. Yes, exactly. It's fucking, let my ego expand. Seven and a half fucking hours, 300 fucking viewers all day. It's been sick as fuck. And that's why you should subscribe and like, because I bring you shit you can't get anywhere else. And I don't, and guess what? No fucking multi-level marketing, no fucking dick riding bullshit. You, you come here, this is a viewer supported show. If you're here, you're making it happen. That's what's sick about this show. All right? Anyway, let's continue to the game of course da 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 normal no one's gonna sit here and say casino should be fair i mean maybe a socialist but anyone with a brain wouldn't the casinos oh, have built in, casinos have a built-in edge of course thank you very very much brawler Eller, for the five gifted tier one subs to the website thank you so very much you make this possible but uh yeah, hustles universe oh wait wait did i miss him fucking con whoa, 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 whoa da 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 normal no one's gonna sit here and say casinos are rigged i mean there's a there's a built-in 
Vegas that you just mentioned. I mean, casino scam on top of the casinos you own and numerous other things that you just mentioned. I mean, calling casinos a scam. I mean, well, yeah, casinos are rigged. I mean, there's a there's a built-in bias to the game, of course. Da da da. Normal. No one's gonna sit here and say casinos should be fair. I mean, maybe a socialist, but anyone with a brain wouldn't. Casinos have casinos have a built-in edge, of course. But uh, yeah, Hustlers University is a product I stand by. There's a reason we have so much, so many fantastic reviews. We just had our one-year anniversary today, actually. I did a stream to the 110,000 students. Had our one-year anniversary today. 110,000 students in one year. So we're doing very, very well. We'll be a million students very, very shortly. I'll continue to be on everyone's feed. No one's going to get rid of me. I can't. Oh, it was before here? Hold on. Let me see. I want to hear him confess to that. Casino's a scam. I mean, well, yeah, casinos are rigged. And the idea that we would be out here desperate to scam people. Property portfolio across four or five casinos in romania so i have a uh, i have 14 casino locations damn, I have, damn. Uh, damn. yeah i have I have, a, I have a substantial property portfolio across four or five different countries uh, i have hustles university i have the war room i i still have my brother still owns an agency that manages only fans girls so between it ah my brother owns an agency that manages only fans girls that's called being a pimp my friend that's called being a pimp and a middleman it all we're, I mean, between it all, we're, we're very, very well. And the idea that we would be out here desperate to scam people is obviously not true because we don't need to. We no, I don't think it's a, it's I don't think a scam, desperate it's a scam. scam. It's just yeah. an additional scam on top of the casinos you own and cool. numerous other things cool. that you just mentioned. You know, I mean, cause see, calling casinos a scam. I mean, well, yeah, casinos are rigged. I mean, there's a, there's a bill. Yeah, last I checked, there were like two active actual lawsuits against Irene. Uh, Irene is, is unhinged and Irene's fans are also unhinged. It's fucked up. In bias to the game. But again, average demon mama hater. Game, of course, da da da, normal. No one's gonna sit here and say casinos should be fair. I mean, maybe a socialist, but anyone with a brain wouldn't. The casinos, oh, have built, casinos have a built in edge, of course. But uh, yeah, Hustlers University is a product I stand by. There's a reason we have so much, so many fantastic reviews. We just had our one year anniversary today, actually. I did a stream to the 110,000 students. Had our one year anniversary today, 110,000 students in one year. So we're doing very, very well. We'll be a million students very, very shortly. I'll continue to be on everyone's feed. No one's going to get rid of me. I can't be banned. I haven't even got an account. And I, I own the internet. Ah, uh, don't worry, Pickle and Croissant. I was agitated earlier, but that's just how it is. Don't worry. It's nothing personal. Yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. take. Okay. that's it. Like, I, people can come okay. along and say that's dishonest as much as they want. That's fine. But my, my I, life... I, I, I have a mega question in I have a mega question in Okay, okay. Well, it's not disrespectful. I, it's just action informative. If you make, let's say, you say 20 mil a month or whatever, and five at, at, at best, let's say at best, at maximum performance from your book thing, right? Why are you pushing the book so hard and not doing other shit with your time? You mean, um, you mean if, it's not, if it's only like a quarter of your rev? You mean Hustlers University? Yeah. The reason I am so big on Hustlers University, I actually discuss this on many podcasts, is, and I don't know where perhaps even me and Hassan will agree on this because I have the feeling Hassan's far, far left. I'm associated with the far right, but I don't think I'm far right. But the world's quite cyclical. And sometimes if you go far enough in a circle, you end up agreeing on it's the same thing. It's a horse theory. Okay, whatever. It's, I, I, I definitely don't agree with that, but okay. Cool. So I think... I've talked to some very far left people before, and we actually agree on how the world works. We just approach it from completely different ways. So I think every single system on the face of the planet is corrupt. Thank you, Pavid Dackman, for the five dollars. Uh, I will put on the horns again in the future. Don't worry, they're on display downstairs. Corrupt. I think every single government is corrupt. Judicial systems corrupt. Legal systems corrupt. Medical systems all corrupt from head to toe. And I think that there's going to be a large paradigm shift coming in real time maybe not this generation but certainly the next generation what that's going to be i don't know whether it's going to be good or bad i don't know however i believe literally the most empty if that having people comment, who agree with my worldview and agree with what i say and think i think having so many people who are on my side of the fence with money is better than having a whole bunch of brokies so if i could teach people how to make money in a way that benefits me and benefits them i think it's good for me to be able to say ah look i have 110,000 people who like me who are my fans for example who would help me if I ever asked for it, not that I ever would, who agree with my worldviews, but they're being taken seriously because they also have financial means. If they're complete brokies, nobody gives a shit. Wait, so isn't, that's that, what just a, wait, hold on. isn't, that, isn't that what a cult is? No, yeah. yeah. That's kind of how a cult works. <laughs> oh, ah, oh no, uh-oh, uh-oh. Works, yeah. But I just, feel, I just feel like a lot of people who change the world in a lot of ways, people, who, you know, the matrix you talk about, a lot of people who, who kind of makes these changes almost that you are that you partake in, are in your definition brokies a lot of incredibly would, intelligent people that are like scientists are brokies i would literally. disagree with you. i think the oh, world wow. is run by a very hold small on a second. Like hold on a second guys how do you guys think um we 
humanity existed. Hassan, do you think, um, you know, it was evolution? Do you think it was Adam and Eve? What do you think? What? No, I don't think it's Adam and Eve. What the fuck? Anyway, but look, I want to go back to this, the Hustlers <laughs> universe. They're just moving on. Just fucking moving you on. You said you have 110,000 people who are no I longer broke. Really fast, G. Like, keep, keep going. Like, I can see the, the, the ticking going off. Keep, keep promoting me. Come on. Come and complain about how much money everyone. Yo, Banjo, Kabooby, thank you so much for the $5 and base. Let's make it. Let's go. No, Again. no, no. This is not a complaint about. Look, look, listen, bro. I make a lot of money too, okay? It's not, it's not necessarily the end all be all. I think after a certain point, you're just fucking flexing. You don't need that much money. You're like, I have all of my amenities covered for on top of that i can help my friends and family and right. everything else is just basically for luxury goods okay and i cool. personally think that all of those luxury goods despite what the fucking dumbass stupid anar kitties on the internet say i do think that those uh luxury goods like flexing those luxury goods are uh weird okay i think your material possessions are not going to be carried into the next life if you believe in god and if you believe in you know the next life then you know that that shit's not coming with you it doesn't mean Absolutely. anything it doesn't um, mean it can't right now but i agree with you just Wait a second. Hold on. You can't call me out. You can't fucking call me out. I literally made it. I made a fucking stream about Hassan and about how fucking weird it is that people hyper fixate when he's not even close to like the richest guy. He's just like the he's like the richest nearby guy. Yeah, he's fucking rich and loaded. No doubt about that. But I'm getting stun locked. Fuck you guys. Yeah. Fuck the status guys. symbol to solidify the persona that you have crafted right of the persona of a successful guy we, i literally did a segment where i drew a picture i drew like a, I, I took a scale thing of hassan's income and then put it next to jeff bezos like i do think there's i obviously think there's like more that you can do with your money than buying fucking you know than conspicuous consumptivism like i think that's a fucking waste of money and i think it's a waste of everybody's time but like also i think it's a huge waste of time to like try and income police every leftist when 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 the the, the richest leftist around doesn't even fucking come close to the to the income of the of of of, of fucking oil baron ceo bullshit fucking jo jeff bezos fucking microsoft ceo yeah fuck that shit to be quite honest, like going from, from what I understand, going from a kickboxing career that wasn't, you know, all that profitable as you yourself have admitted, mostly because it's a super exploitative industry and it's not great. Uh, right. Then to, you know, a failed media career in reality TV shows in the UK, you seem to have landed wow. on quite the profitable business. First doing the OnlyFans girl webcam oh, thing. Chat, and there's some questions this, I have bro? for that in how particular. How the fuck does he know all this? Sure. Uh, what's, what the fuck's Aiden doing? No, I was just, oh my God, I, how do you know all that? Yeah, he's a fan. I told you he's a fan. Go, no, keep asking. Dog. No, bro, dog. okay, bro, no, I do my research, hot. motherfucker. Okay, what do you mean? Hey, wait, wait, wait. I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to just like uh, That's come out. That's fair. I agree. Listen, but a lot of Google people have brought you in the because they see you on, on TikTok. Oh, it is? Okay, a I'm lot of people have brought you in on their shows because they see you popping off on TikTok, and that to them equals dollar signs. To you, that also equals dollar signs. I'm a little bit more responsible. When I see something like that, I go, hey, let me deep. Let me let me investigate a little bit further. What's going on with this dude? It's fine. Okay, so what's the question yeah, about my webcam thing? We'll leave that up for the next time we have a conversation. I'm oh, sure fucking do that, bitch ass! What the fuck is this? I'm sure you have, uh, <laughs> I'm sure you have a lot of uh, ways of describing it. I'm, yeah, I'm pro sex yeah, work. Oh. I, I am. I am definitely pro sex work, but there's uh, there's always. I, I have a feeling that you're not pro pimp. Some uh, additional exploitation in that field, and it can get kind of weird. Cool. Um, so we'll talk I, about that. No, I feel like you're selling me a, you're, you're, like you're selling me a book, Hassan. Oh. Fuck, man. Hassan. Yeah, your question. No, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna Hassan, dip. I'm gonna dip on. anyway. What? Hassan, we're going on oh, another date wait, again. Don't. Hassan, how come you have so many what? dates, but I did so many dates all the time? You have a date again, again? I don't Hassan. have a date. No, I'm gonna. Hassan, I'm gonna go, please, can I say one thing? Hassan, I'm gonna go hang out with my family. Hassan, fair. I love that about you. That's really awesome. You like family. Yes, I'm dick riding you. Ah, listen, Hassan. Real quick, I want to ask you a question. If technically you believe in evolution, right? So technically we're all brothers then. We're all brothers and sisters. We're all related, right? Um, I, I, I guess that's part of the No, I don't think line. so. So technically we're all no. incest. I mean, oh, I, I, I guess I, like, I guess it's, it's so far that like, there's enough genetic diversity that it's not considered incest. No, I don't think that's how it works. Yeah, also we were a different species at the time, I'm pretty sure, right? So I, things operate differently at the time. So I think it's disingenuous to say that we're all- Yeah, but what, was the, all, la what was the last stage before a human being was born? I, I don't think it matters. I, I, think, I, I would assume at that point is that the first one is the one that matters the most, right? 
at the at the very base, and then it kind of. Well, I mean, there was Homo sapiens and like Neanderthals and shit. Can we talk about different variants? Because I'd rather talk about Hustlers University. Let's talk about how we've got 18 modern wealth creation methods. Hassan, come along. Let's talk about it. Oh, he's just he's just farming. He's just yeah, farming. He's farming you guys really badly. He saw, yeah. He saw, on, he saw you stop. fucking. He saw XQC is calling him out. Like, yeah, he's fucking farming the audience. He is. He's using this platform to hawk his 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 uh his money making university to to Marx. He's literally just targeting people in the audience. This is the end of the conversation. There's nothing more. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. The first bit was really funny. The second bit was kind of boring.